Edo Elephant National Park, located in the Eastern Cape of South Africa, is a sanctuary of biodiversity. While the park is renowned for its elephant population, it is home to a diverse area of species. In this documentary, you will get to know the lesser known species that you may encounter on your game drives. Even though it is a Big Five park, the chances of spotting the Big Five are very low. There are lions in the park, but you should book a guided game drive to see them. The lions are usually spotted at the fence to the neighboring reserve. In this area of the park, there are no roads that are accessible for safe drive vehicles. If you want to see any leopards or rhinos, the possibility to do so is also very low. But during one of our visits, we got extremely lucky to see a black rhino. Because black rhinos usually stay in the thick bush, they are extremely hard to spot. They are mostly solitary animals, except for females with their calves. Black rhinos have a pointed upper lip, which distinguishes them from white rhinos with a wider lip. This pointed lip allows them to feed on leaves and twigs more easily in the dense vegetation. Black rhinos are critically endangered. It is estimated that there are only 3,100 mature individuals left in the wild. Even though a lot of conservation effort is taking place, their slow reproductive rate makes population recovery very challenging. Females usually give birth to a single calf only every two to three years. A very common Big Five animal to see in Edo is the Cape Buffalo. Cape Buffaloes are highly social animals and form large herds, typically composed of females and their offsprings. Males often form smaller bachelor groups or live as solitary individuals. Unlike some other African herbivores, Cape Buffaloes are very dependent on water and they're rarely found far from any water source. They need to drink daily, especially during the dry season when water availability is limited. But there is more to see in Edo. There are many different herbivore species, like plain zebra, red hartebeest, kudu, bushbok, and warthog. Plain zebras are some of the more abundant animals in Edo Elephant National Park. The most recognizable feature of plain zebras is their black and white striped coat. Each zebra's stripe pattern is unique, much like human fingerprints. They play a crucial role in their ecosystems as grazers, helping to regulate plant growth maintain grassland habitats, and support a diverse area of other species, including predators. Red hartebeests are characterized by their unique appearance, with an elongated face and distinctively shaped horns. The coat is reddish brown, with a lighter colored rump at legs. They form small herds of females with their offsprings, led by a dominant male.
Kudu is known as the mascot animal for South African national parks, inspiring their logo. Kudus hold cultural significance in many African societies and play an important role in art and symbolism. They are also valued by hunters for their impressive horns and prized as game animals, contributing to the conservation management and economic importance in some regions. Despite their large size, kudus are very good jumpers. They are agile and can jump a height of 3.5 meters. This means that an elephant-proof fence is not always kudu-proof. This is also the reason why there are a lot of car accidents with kudus, because they can escape nearly every enclosure. Bushbox are smaller antelopes that you may encounter in camp as well. They are most active during the early morning and late evening hours. This behavior helps them avoid the heat of the day and reduces the risk of predation by nocturnal predators, such as leopards or hyenas. One other famous inhabitant of Edo is the warthog. They are actually much smaller than some people would expect, with a shoulder height of 65 to 85 centimeters. Female warthogs give birth to a litter of one to six piglets, typically in burrows or abundant artifact dens. They also hide from predators in these burrows. But you can not only encounter herbivores, there are also some common predators in the park. Opportunistic spotted hyenas play a vital role as nature's cleanup crew, effectively disposing of carry-on and maintaining the ecological balance. It is more common to encounter black-backed jackals. They are abundant in the park and roam during the day as well. Black-backed jackals are omnivorous, with a diverse diet. They primarily feed on small mammals birds and insects, but they also consume fruits, berries and plant matter when available. They are known scavengers and often feed on the remains of larger predator kills. Edo also offers a vibrant bird life, from the largest bird on earth, the ostrich, to some interesting birds of prey. We shouldn't forget about the non-mammals. There are many reptiles, with tortoises being the easiest to see. Of course, Edo is home to invertebrates too. The star of the show is the dung beetle. They provide valuable ecosystem services, including nutrient cycling, soil aeration and pest control. By burying and consuming dung, they help improve soil fertility, reduce greenhouse gas emission and control populations of pests and disease vectors. Even though most people visit this national park because of the famous elephants, we should always remember that in nature, every creature plays a vital role in the delicate balance of nature. There is so much more to explore beyond the elephants that roam these lands. Stay curious, always explore and be in wonder of nature. See you on the next adventure.